We're staying in room 11027 at the Toyoko in Narita Airport Hotel. Now this is a deluxe twin room in building one on the 10th floor and it is in the corner so you're away from foot traffic and as you can see coming in it is a absolutely huge room there's this huge space on one side you've got a lounge at the end and two big twin beds which I think are actually queen size beds uh, or at least one of them is and the other is a double perhaps um, it's well equipped you've got kettle uh, mugs team coffee facilities little mini fridge TV mirror and makeup stuff uh, some slippers are included as well and small hanging and coat rack section here now because it's on the 10th floor we've also got pretty decent views uh, out one side it looks like we have views out towards just other hotels and that sort of thing and out the other side over this way we just have views towards the airport out that way so the room cost us $96 for a night and like I said it's a huge room styling wise it's probably straight out of the 70s uh, but really it is absolutely lovely I, I would have no hesitations coming here again it took us about 20 minutes on the shuttle to get here from over at Terminal 2 where we flew into uh, with Qantas so the shuttle is free which is fantastic and the room is a non-smoking room so also fantastic but you just want to make sure that you do leave enough time to get to and from the airport as it it is actually quite a while on the shuttle considering how close it actually is to the airport all the rooms in the Toyoko Inn also have free Wi-Fi. I was testing speeds between 12 and 20 megabits per second, so it's pretty decent. Just to the left from the main entrance as you come in is the bathroom. And this is a fairly typical Japan pod style bathroom with a little bath and a handheld shower over the bath. Uh, you've got your three dispensers for face body wash shampoo and conditioner uh, a mirror sink which is a little bit weird because it looks like the sink control here actually controls the shower as well as the sink faucet uh, a bidet toilet which let's be honest that's part of the reason we all come to Japan and toothbrushes and little toothpastes so that's really nice as well it has a little clothesline over the bathtub now, I've just discovered in the shower that in addition to this handheld shower head here we also have in the ceiling a rain shower which I absolutely love because I love showers that I can get completely under so that's actually really really cool and a little bit of a surprise that I haven't seen in any of these pod bathrooms before one of the other things that's really nice about the Toyoko Inn is that there's a Lawson's Mart uh, at the entrance so you can pick up something to eat if you get in uh, in the evening or whatever and that that's really convenient. My biggest complaint about it though is that the bed mattresses on both beds are really really hard. They're not even just a firm mattress, they are a hard mattress. So hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep but we'll see what happens. Well, we actually ended up sleeping really, really well on these really hard beds. I don't know if it's just because we were so tired from being up so early yesterday morning or what, but it was a great sleep. Didn't wake up sore or anything. So I guess not great in the sense that they are really hard, but at the same time, slept well, so can't complain, I suppose. So our room included breakfast, which has an assortment of things, but an absolutely mad rush for it down here. There's so many people battling for food. It's crazy. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me.